Out in the tropics we go. We are going to be closely watching Fred because in the near future, it really has not been doing what the models thought as it's been moving a little bit more west. Now, a lot of that is because it is over land and the wind shear as well has really disrupted that center of circulation, kind of a broad center, which at the moment may be struggling to really hold on. And even the Hurricane Center is admitting that 35 mile an hour max wind is kind of on the generous side. So it's almost as if this system has dissipated and is going to redevelop. And that's why now the computer models are a little bit more all over the place. And we have seen a little bit of a shift in the models. And because of that, the forecast from the National Hurricane Center has shifted a little bit more to the west. Remember, we've been kind of looking at a bullseye of Apalachicola, and now that has shifted a little bit more even to the west of Panama City, uh, closer to us, but still well away from us. And the model consensus is still basically within that margin of error. And we are still looking at along the Florida panhandle, but we've seen kind of a, again, kind of a readjustment, we'll call it, of the models as the storm itself has really been ripped apart. Wind shear is going to play a huge role in the future of this storm, and it looks like that's probably going to continue on through and up to landfall. In fact, here is tropical depression seven and it too has some wind shear out ahead of it, which will likely keep this as a weaker storm over the next couple of days. However, it has gotten better developed. Thunderstorms are developing around the center and we will likely see this become grace either late tonight or certainly by tomorrow. Then the forecast takes it right, almost following right behind Fred, not to say it will get into the eastern Gulf, but it may follow kind of the weakness created by Fred as we get into next week. This is not until the end of next week, next weekend, before we would have to worry about this. Model consensus is kind of taking it over the islands, which would help to disrupt the storm. And some models indicating it may just dissipate it altogether. So we have plenty of time to watch that. We'll keep an eye on Fred, but it still does not appear as though it is a threat to us.